Hello, everybody, and welcome to the luxury webinar. I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves as normal. Um, so, Ollie, tell us who you are, where you're from, and what your prize is today, please. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. My name's Ollie or Olivia Morrow, and I work with the Jamaica and team. I'm based between London and Jamaica, um, and today we'll be giving away a fifty pound gift card. Super, thank you very much. And Ollie, it's your first webinar you've done with us, so we will be very kind to you. Looking forward. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> thank you very much. We've also got Gabriella. Gabriella, hello. Hi, everybody. It's so good to see so many attendees today. Um, so once again, I'm Gabriella. I'm here to tell you a little bit more today about Madina Jumeirah Resort based in Dubai, um, an amazing property in the sunny uh, country of uh, United Arab Emirates. And the price today, sorry, sorry, uh, the price today we have uh, the 50 pounds or 60 dollars based on your preference uh, and we will give it away at the end of the presentation. Super, thank you very much, Gabriella. Last but not least, we've got Anna. Anna, hello. Hi, everyone. I'm Anna from the Wellwind Collection. Um, great to see so many of you here today. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about Bakuti and Tara in Aruba um, and our price today is 50 pounds or 60 dollars. Super, thank you very much, Anna. So will you please take us to Bukuti and Tara? Indeed, I will. Thank you very much, Sarah. No problem. So, I've got um, four properties in the Caribbean, but today is all about Aruba, showing some Aruba love, um, because I absolutely adore this wonderful independent property um, in Aruba, on set on Eagle Beach, one of the dream beaches of the world. So Aruba as an island, it's not a huge island. It's 20 miles by 11 miles. It's one of the furthest southern islands in the Caribbean, just 15 miles north of Venezuela. So we are outside of the hurricane belt. So average of 13 days rainfall a year. You can really come at any time of the year because we are outside of the hurricane belt. So the, how do we get there from the UK? You land into Aranjastad as a tag off Antigua. So you don't get off the aircraft in Antigua, but then it's an hour 45 down to, to Aruba. And then from Aranjastad, it's just 15 minutes over to Eagle Beach where Bakuti and Tara is located. You can see there's two main beach areas of Aruba. You've got Eagle Beach and you've got Palm Beach. Palm Beach is your more high rise hotels, your casinos, your shopping district. It's a lot busier in this part of the island. But further south, you've got Eagle Beach, which is your more exclusive part of Aruba. It's quieter. It's more idyllic. It's it's miles of white, sandy beaches and very quiet. You can just walk for miles. So you can see here the dots of people. Um, so how wide these beaches are is absolutely stunning. And just sitting there, sipping a cocktail overlooking this beach, I was absolutely blown away. I've seen some amazing beaches in the Caribbean, but this really is beautiful. So it's perfect for couples and adults seeking romance and wellness. We are adults only, so it's 18 and over. It's not just for couples, but it's also those adults who are looking to come up for a wellness holiday. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. So we're only 104 rooms and suites, which is really boutique for Aruba. So it really is an intimate getaway vacation here at Bakuti and Tara. So we have more space and privacy than any other resort in Aruba. We're at 14 acres of white sands. It's coral and, and shell beaches, so it's never hot under the foot as well. So it's a really beautiful beach to walk across. So we have more sun lounges than people, and, uh, and actually we operate a sun lounger booking system. So you don't have to get up at 5 a.m. to get your sun lounger. You can actually book this the night before at 6 p.m. Um, in the comfort of your own room, just on our iPads, um, and then your sun lounger is yours for the next day. So as I mentioned, we're all about curated um, romance. We've got more space and privacy than any other resorts, all about personalized service. And we are a family owned and family run resort. It's owned by the Beeman family. Pressy Beeman's the granddaughter is actually the managing director now. And Ewald Beeman's the father actually takes a, a, a also very much part of the day-to-day -day running of the resort as well. So he offers a weekly champagne toast for our honeymooners down there on the beach to celebrate them. And we do also offer honeymoon like a celebrity option. So for those honeymoons that want a little bit more, we can offer private fast track through customs, a private car transfer, and also your own dedicated exclusive champagne reception on arrival. We offer a beautiful moonlight and twilight dining service. So private dining down there in a cabana on the beach, absolutely stunning location. It's $198 per couple. It includes a bottle of wine or a bottle of champagne and a beautiful three course dinner. And you can book that either before you go or you can book that whilst you're there. 
We also offer a twice weekly movie and movies under the stars, another absolutely fantastic way to enjoy the surroundings on that beautiful beach there. Also, look, um, we do have our own private yacht, so we can take our guests out on um, two hour tours. We can take them on a half day. We can take them on a full day or you can just purely just go out for a beautiful sunset champagne experience. So you look on the water there. We do offer micro um, weddings, so we don't take groups of any kind at the resort. And the reason for this is that we want to keep the intimacy of the resort. So we don't actually accept any more than three rooms per booking, but we can accept weddings. So it really would be the bride and groom plus their parents. And if they want to actually have their friends and family involved in their wedding, we can actually, we actually use a company to micro stream that um, wedding experience over to their friends and family at home. So in terms of dining at the resort, we actually just have the one restaurant. And the reason why we have the one restaurant is because Aruba has got over 250 restaurants to enjoy. And you can literally just walk out along the beach or on the boardwalk the other side. And it's very safe to, to head out into Aruba. It's one of the uh, lowest crime rates in the Caribbean. So definitely a place to go and enjoy the cuisine, um, either on Eagle Beach or you can head up to Palm Beach there as well. But we do have Elements Restaurant and we've got a Michelin star chef there. It's a spectacular oceanfront um, setting there. And we're also award winning. So USA Today Awards, we've uh, won number one restaurant in the Caribbean. And we're all about sustainability at the resort. So it is natural meats, it's sustainable seafood and also locally grown produce where we can get it. So we do have also an extensive vegan and vegetarian meal. So we really do cater for those special requirements, also gluten-free there as well. And for those that want more than bed and breakfast, so we don't offer all-inclusive because of our sustainability, but we do offer a half-board option. So you can enjoy a, a half-board dine-around option, which includes six restaurants, including our own restaurant elements down there on the beach. And they're all within walking distance of the resort. So we also have our um, our beach and pool dining service. So we have a flag service. So um, the staff will come and bring you food and drink as and when you want it throughout the day down there on the beach. Our chef's table is actually in the process of being refurbished at the moment. And this is going to look absolutely amazing. So we're going to have a fine dining experience of five to eight courses. So this is for our own in-house guests to enjoy, but we'll also be opening this up to outside guests. So there's more to come on this one, on this exclusive chef's table. So as I mentioned, we are all about romance, but also all about wellness. So we offer a daily complimentary wellness activity to all of our guests from 7 to 8 a.m. every single morning. So that's anything from Tai Chi to yoga to Pilates, beach walks, meditation. And those that don't want to get up so early, we also offer further small group classes between 8.30 to 11 a.m. daily. There's also private training options, and we can also offer a tailored program for guests that want a bit more. So we can work with wellness experts across the island um, in areas of nutrition, mental health, and well-being. Um, also down on the beach, we've got our fabulous bar where we offer a daily healthy hour from 3 to 4 p.m. You can have a selection of smoothies and mocktails. We don't have um, a huge spa at the resort, but we have had planning permission to actually build a two-story spa with a swimming pool. So the majority of our guests do come and have spa treatments down on the beach. We do have a small indoor spa facility, but I would definitely recommend having one of your treatments in the cabana down there on the beach. And we do have a full spa menu there. Our fitness center is all about delivering energy back into the grid. So you can actually see on the screens, actually in the fitness center, how much energy you're generating on this fitness equipment. So all of the fitness equipment that we've got in the in the center is sustainable fitness equipment. And it's a huge space there overlooking the beach. That's so a really, really beautiful space. We've also got our meditation huts. This is where we'll do some of our daily morning activities there. And also we can tailor programs for you. So in terms of our rooms and suites, 104 rooms and suites, we actually lead in with our superior garden view. This has actually got a side, a side sea view, but we don't want to oversell it. So we actually call it a garden view. But you can see the rooms are really contemporary, some of the comfiest mattresses I've ever slept on. And then we move up to our deluxe ocean front. So actually the interiors of the deluxe ocean front and the superior garden view are very similar. You've got this gorgeous view overlooking the ocean there. So I would definitely recommend upgrading to a deluxe ocean front room if you can. We also have our own dedicated Tara wing. So 48 honeymoon suites. And the honeymoon suites were actually designed by our honeymooners. They wanted the bed overlooking the ocean, opening up the curtains, having the ocean there. And they also have their own separate um, 
living space there as well. So this this picture doesn't really do it justice, but it's an absolutely stunning contemporary room with gorgeous views there. And the top of the, the tar room, when we then got our fantastic penthouse suite. So a little bit larger, you've got huge balcony uh, towering over the ocean there, but you've got your, your separate um, living space there as well. And we do have four of these at Bakuti and Tara. So in terms of sustainability, as I mentioned, we are all about sustainability. We're the first carbon neutral hotel in North America. We're green, glow, platinum. We um, It's solar panels um, for to, to use to heat um, water for, for guest rooms where we can. And we're also the lowest per occupied electricity usage in Aruba. But we also support community efforts. So we actually helped ban single-use plastics on the island. We support the local donkey sanctuary. And we also donated 30 acres of land behind the hotel, which will be used as a carbon sink to be reforested, with the aim for us to become carbon negative over the, over the next few years. So I'm just going to show you a short video on the resort. And just a little bit about the island as well, because I know many of you may not know much about Aruba itself, but it's fantastic for diving with its spectacular coral reefs and colourful sea life. And it's all about water sports as well. So home to world-class kite windsurfing on Malmok Beach, um, but also the other side of the island is a little bit calmer, so perfect for paddleboarding and kayaking in the crystal clear waters there. You've got Arakok National Park, so it's absolutely stunning landscape with rugged deserts. Um, and leads out over to the water there and definitely um, worth visiting whilst you can. And it's all about adventure activity. So in the national parks, you've got your Jeep safaris, you've got your off-road ATV touring, horseback riding, you've got biking, hiking. So there really is so much to do for everyone on the island. And then for cultural tours, definitely head down to San Nicolas. So it's famous for its art murals and known as Sunrise City. Um, so it, this, this city is actually rich in culture and charm. It's absolutely stunning. And then not to mention all of the different restaurants and bars are so over 250 restaurants to choose from a very vibrant nightlife. So beachfront lounges and most of the lively entertainment, as I mentioned, was in is in Palm Beach with Eagle Beach being a little bit quieter. So we have great weather all year round, an average of just 13 days rainfall annually. We've got some of the most stunning beaches in the Caribbean in the world, award winning, and it's one of the safest islands to visit. And we've also got an array of activities to choose from, including fun adventure activities to cultural tour and exploring the national park. So really, that's just um, Aruba and Bakuti in a nutshell. I can obviously send you further information um, after this, but um, I hope you enjoyed hearing about Bakuti and Tara. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anna. We loved it. Loving the turtles mm. as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. 
can you go and can you go in the water with them or do they just come up to you when you're in the water yeah well they they yes you can go in the water with them in aruba yeah oh super. you can Which see that the beaches are cordoned off as well when the turtles are hatching so again the whole island is all about sustainability and looking after the turtles amazing oh that's so good um if anybody has any questions for anna please pop them into the q a for the attention of anna Anna, there's a couple of questions already in there for you um so a big thank you for that um we're now going to follow over we've got gabriella that's taking us over to dubai to the madinat jamaira resort so gabriella over to you perfect um good to go everybody can see the presentation um, so, telling you today about uh, Madina Jumeirah Resort in Dubai. Um, the resort is located around 25 minutes away from, uh, from the airport, and the location is definitely one of our unique selling points because we are located right in the heart of the city. Uh, the resort itself is a destination within a destination, and it was open 20 years ago um, with the idea of duplicating the Dubai old style as a city, but to put it in a better location and make it um, a, a, an area to explore for, for the tourists uh, willing to come to, to Dubai. So the resort comprises of uh, four hotels, um, and we have a total of 1,309 uh, rooms across the four properties uh, in the resort. So we have Jumeirah Al Nasim, which was the latest one open in 2016. It's very uh, modern in design with a total of 436 uh, rooms. Uh, Jumeirah Mina Salam is the original um, and we had a full refurbishment of the property two years ago. Um, Jumeirah Al Castle, which is the palace, uh, it duplicates um, as a design, the Sheikh Summer Palace. So it's all about the um, luxury Arabian opulence, but in the same time, um, it's that authentic experience if the clients are looking to have well traveling with the Middle East. The way I call it, it's your 1001 Arabian Nights experience. And uh, Jumeirah Dar al Masya, which I'm going to tell you a little bit more um, immediately. Um, with a total as well of 290 units. I want to highlight um, that you will be able to see as well the beach from the map, but also the water canal. So we have a total of 3.7 kilometers of, of water canals that, you know, uh, that connects the, the properties um, uh, within the resort. So the beach is definitely a key selling point for, uh, for our property. Uh, two kilometers, um, the sunbeds and the umbrellas are uh, provided complementary for the clients. And no matter what, in, which of, the, in um, which of the four properties you are staying, the clients are flexible to go and sit at any side of the beach they might be feeling comfortable with. Um, as well, uh, next to uh, Jumeirah Resort, we have the Wild Wadi Water Park. And for clients staying in, uh, in, uh, in the resort, in any of the four hotels, they will have complimentary access and unlimited access to, to the water park, which makes it an additional um, and a great added value, especially for uh, families with children. Uh, we have as well a total of 26 swimming pools across the resort. Two of them are adults only. So while the resort is definitely a leisure and family oriented uh, property, we do have as well uh, facilities for adults. Um, the Abra rides, so uh, on the water canal, which I, I showed you earlier on the map, um, we have the traditional uh, boats, which are called Abras, and the clients, again, they can use complimentary the, um, the Abra to go around the resort. And of course, the dine around. Um, Jumeirah is famous for Jumeirah Flavors program, uh, which is our uh, dine around program with more than 40 hotels, uh, 40 restaurants included in, uh, in the program. Um, out of the 40 restaurants, 28 of them are based within Madina Jumeirah Resort. The beauty of the dine around um, uh, program is that clients are entitled on a daily basis for breakfast and they can choose between lunch and dinner. So that gives them a flexibility on uh, on a daily basis to, to choose the meals that they, they might want to have. Um, and in terms of the cuisine, we have a variety of the restaurants with different cuisine from um, Mediterranean, um, Arabic cuisine, um, Thai cuisine, and so on and so forth. 
Um, also, we have within the resort um, the water sports activities. So we have both motorized and non-motorized water activities that the clients can do. We have the Talis Spa, which is a beautiful uh, spa with 26 treatment rooms. But in the same time, we also have at the beach uh, the cabanas where the clients can have a massage as well during, during the day. We have two kids club in, in the resort. Uh, access is free of charge for uh, for the children from 3 to, uh, to 4 to 12 years old and we also provide uh, babysitting facilities but that will be at an additional uh, charge and as well next to the resort we have Souk Madinat which is a very uh, traditional experience uh, for the clients <coughs> while staying in the resort um, it's the traditional uh, market, Arabic market, from where the clients, they can buy um, souvenirs, but also traditional clothes um, or traditional um, elements that you usually find it in the, in the Middle East, like the uh, spices. Um, <clears throat> sorry. And I will go ahead and um, start with a video for Dar al Masyaf. Dar al Masyaf, it's a very unique concept, uh, hotel concept in uh, in Dubai. Um, if you are familiar, um, the summer houses, we have a total of 29 of them. The concept is very similar with the Moroccan Riyadh. So each summer house um, has up to 10 rooms, um, nine rooms and one suite per, uh, per summer house. Um, so you enter in, in the summer house, we have the majlis, the entrance, where we are serving on a daily basis um, the complimentary drinks, um, sundowners from five to seven. So the clients can interact um, as well with the other guests staying in the summer house. Um, and after that, we have the open courtyard, um, which again, for the um, uh, drinks in the evening, the clients can just enjoy their drinks either in the modulus in the entrance area or in the courtyard, which is an open space. In terms of the rooms, so we have a total of 290 units, 10% um, of the inventory are the suites. But I want to highlight that um, last summer we had a phase one of refurbishment of um, arabian summer houses um so now the feeling of of the rooms it's much fresh and much contemporary in design but we still kept the um, um arabic uh, design elements um across the the rooms and the public areas uh, we also have the gulf summer houses uh which are beachfront so for those clients that they want to have um the sea views from from the room i highly recommend this room type while the rest of the summer houses are scattered across the resort along the waterways um and the garden uh, as well so uh, we'll offer a little bit more of a privacy if the clients are looking you know to be in dubai but being in a resort that offers a little bit more of a privacy, definitely Dar al Masyaf will be a, an option for, for them. Um, in terms of the rooms, um, they start from 60 square meters, so it's a very sp spacious as a leading room type, and maximum occupancy is two adults plus two children up to 12 years old. And um, also part of uh, Dar al Masyaf, we have uh, seven Malakia villas. Uh, these are our... Um, a top product within the resort. I will start with uh, a video and I'm going to tell you after a little bit more about it as well.
So for the Malakia Villas, as I mentioned already, we have seven units, um, two bedroom and three bedroom as an option. Uh, sizes, they vary from 250 square meters up to 650 square meters. We have in, uh, for each of the villa, um, um, they have their own layout. Um, so for those one that they want to find even more details, I'll be able to share that with you separately. Um, we had a full refurbishment of the villas more than a year ago. So they used to be very traditional Arabic in design, so now um, they're very luxury and very contemporary in design. They did an amazing job with, uh, with the refurbishment. Um, all of the um, seven villas, um, they come with a private plunge pool. And as well, we have a dedicated reception for the clients staying in the Malakia villas. We have a dedicated butler team available 24-7 for the clients staying in these units. Uh, we are also offering... Uh, complimentary airport transfers for the clients, a private git, uh, beach cabana uh, for the clients to use. We can arrange for them um, breakfast in, uh, in the villa. And of course, um, if they have any particular or special requests for the clients that are staying in these units, we always um, tend to, to be able to accommodate uh, their request. Um, for the Malakia villas will be an amazing product for uh, families. Um, uh, but also for, for couples. So each of the um, bedrooms in, in the villas, they come with their own uh, bathroom. So um, they can be shared, for example, for two or three couples as well, and they will have their own facilities uh, also. And this was um, a little bit about um, Madinat uh, Jumeira and Dar al Masyaf in particular. I'll be waiting for your questions uh, at the end. Thank you so much. Sorry, my computer's not working as fast today. Um, a massive thank you to Gabriella. There are a, few, a couple of questions in the Q&A for you. Um, if you've got any more questions, please pop them into the Q&A with a note for Gabriella and she will answer them very soon. Uh, last but not least, we're now moving across to sunny Jamaica. Oli, um, tell us about your historic hotel. Great, let me just share my screen. Here we go. Perfect. Well, hello, as I said, good morning, good afternoon to everyone. My name's Olivia. Um, I am actually part, very much part of the Jamaica Inn family. It's been in my family for the last 65 years. We were built in the 1950s. So it is very much a family owned and family run hotel. Um, we are located on the north coast of the island of Jamaica. So equidistance between Kingston and Montego Bay Airport. So that's about an hour and a half from either airport. Very easy from the UK or worldwide to get to us. Um, and we have private transfers that will collect our guests from either of those airports. We also have a smaller private airport called the Ian Fleming International Airport, which is a very close by about 10 minutes drive from the hotel. That um, used to be only private airplanes could fly in there. But now as of two weeks ago, American Airlines has launched two flights a week from Miami flying there. So that's great for any of our clients who are looking to do a twin center with the States or coming from the US originally. So that's fantastic for us. And it's literally one red stripe or rum punch away and they'll be with us on our beautiful beach. As I said, we were built in the 1950s, so we have a lot of history over our years, um, and you can really feel that when you're with us. It is very much kind of authentically Jamaican. There's so many stories that have been um, shared there, and, and our guests love kind of feeling like they're stepping back in time a little bit when they're with us. We have 52 rooms and suites, as well as cottages. Um, our cottages, let me just move this. Our cottages are located up here on this private little bluff. These are seven cottages, um, all one and two bedrooms. And then the remainder of the rooms kind of are in a horseshoe shape around our beautiful beach. This is a private 700 foot beach. So well, really the best beach in Jamaica um, and something that our guests come back for year after year. All of our rooms have direct sea views. So every single one of them either has 
is right over the water or is just on the beach and you're looking directly um, out to the beautiful Caribbean Sea. As I said, our beach is definitely our USP. It is just so beautiful. It's private, it's calm, we're um, very much shaded within the two points on either side. So the water is clear, um, great snorkeling, great for people who might be a little bit older, who have mobility issues. It's very, very easy to walk into the water from our beautiful beach. Um, as I said, great snorkeling, um, great diving just off the, um, just out a little bit farther. And we have an onsite boat that can take our guests out to the reef just in front of the hotel if people would like to do a little bit more um, snorkeling and diving there. We offer all the non-motorized water sports, um, and so that's accessible to all of our guests. And we definitely don't have any need to reserve a bed or come down early. We have so many beds that they definitely outdo our, the number of our guests. So people tend to just wander down in a very relaxed way after they've had breakfast to enjoy a day on the beach. As I mentioned, we're 52 rooms and suites, so very, very small. Um, we've remained kind of very small purposely. We really think that it's important that we give our guests that intimate and very um, you know, high end service. And that's how we can take care of all of our guests. We are, our um, team is two to one um, in terms of our guest to team ratio. So we really pride ourselves in the incredible service that we provide. All of our rooms are traditionally styled, very much inside, outside living. They have beautiful views over the Caribbean Sea and all of our cottages have their own private plunge pools. Something to note about our rooms, none of them have TVs, clocks or radios. We really encourage our guests to disconnect while they're with us, you know, to reconnect with themselves, their loved ones, their partner, their book that they've been meaning to read. Um, we really, really think that the world has so much going on all the time that when they come to Jamaica and we really want them to just unplug and relax and refresh. Most of our guests, especially from the UK and Europe, do tend to stay with us for quite a long time, anywhere between 10 days to three weeks. Um, you know, they, they come and they just spend that time completely unwinding and being taken care of by our team. As I mentioned, all of our rooms have beautiful views either over the water, as you can see in the right or right on the sand. So you literally walk walk from your veranda straight onto the, the beautiful beach and into the sea. So it depends on what your clients prefer. People always ask what's everyone's favorite room and it just totally depends what they like. Um, some people I know don't love being on the sand and so they love being on our overwater rooms where they can feed the fish in the morning. Another thing to note is that we don't take kids under 10. So um, we do have families, older families that tend to stay with us in the holiday times, but our usual guests are couples who are coming on a romantic getaway, sometime you know, celebrating an anniversary, or our more mature guests who um, usually come to us year after year. Our returning guest rate is about 60% in our high season. So usually our guests find us and they do tend to come back year after year because um, we are a little bit of a hidden gem, I think, for most of our guests and they love us um, and we love them. So here's a couple more of our rooms. As you can see, the views are beautiful. Um, the private pool there in one of our cottages as well. And all of our cottages have direct access to the sea. So that's really something special. We are room only. As of this year, we now include continental breakfast in our rate, but otherwise we have all the traditional meal plans. Something that's unique about our all-inclusive or our dine-around option is that it includes four local restaurants. So we partner with four of our favorite restaurants in the local area. These are all about five to 10 minute drive away. And we and our guests on that all inclusive or dine around plan can make use of those restaurants. We really encourage our guests to get off property, experience the beautiful culture of Jamaica. There's so much to see, do, and we really want them to, to give back to the community that we love so much. Of course, um, anyone on, on any other meal plan can make use of the wonderful restaurants we have locally as well. For the restaurants on property, we have our terrace restaurant, which is al fresco, serves dinner in the evening, live music every night under the stars, and our guests tend to dance and get a little bit dressed up in the evening for our terrace restaurant there. Breakfast is served in sea shanty, as you can see on the right there, and that's a beautiful restaurant just set over the sea, or they had breakfast in their rooms on their veranda. 
We also, of course, do any beach dinner setups for a private, you know, any special events, any anniversaries, um, engagements, things like that. And on Tuesday nights, we host a manager's cocktail party for everyone who's staying in the hotel where we come together and they can meet some of our management team. This is a complimentary cocktail party and hors d'oeuvres. And then we all head down to the beach for a wonderful beach barbecue. Our other restaurant, which opened about a year and a half ago, is called Teddy's Bar and Grill. So you can see it's on the beach. It's really, really casual. It's beautiful. Feet in the sand. Um, much more relaxed vibe down here at Teddy's Grill. We serve fresh fish, meats, um, wood-fired pizzas on the grill. Of course, all of our food throughout the hotel has very much a Jamaican twist. Um, if any of you are familiar with the island or who, who have had Jamaican food, you can also say that our food is delicious. It's flavorful. It's spicy. It's just so great. So we definitely infuse it infuse that into all of our cuisine um, and if guests would like special Jamaican foods to try our local dishes we always have those on the menu as well. We of course cater to all the dietary requirements um, any gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian, our chef, anyone who has any specified dietary requirements will be met with our chef upon their arrival on their first day to talk through any special um, requirements or yeah, requirements they may have, and we'll really do our best to cater to them and, and make their experience exceptional. Something that's really unique on property as well is we really try and show the true Jamaica for our guests. We really believe that our, our guests don't wanna just be sat on a beach where they could be anywhere in the world. And so the experience that they have whilst at Jamaica Inn is very much authentically Jamaican. And we weave that into the experiences that we have on a weekly basis. So that's everything from rumology with our bar team, where they tell you all about the rums on the island, the distillation process. Of course, you can sample some of these lovely rums. Um, sometimes we get in a master blender from one of the estates to come in and do a private class all about rum. Um, and so that's also something that we can do on a private basis for any of your guests or any of your clients who might be interested in that. On Friday, our head chef, Maurice, takes guests to the local market where they can sample what's in season. And then we bring back those ingredients to Jamaica Inn and make a local dish for lunch. That might be ackee and saltfish, jerk chicken, whatever's in season, um, our guests can get involved and make that. For any nature lovers, we do flora and fauna tours, garden tours, bird watching, butterfly watching. We actually had a butterfly specialist on property a couple of weeks ago, and he noted that, that there is 11 endemic species of butterflies on property. So really, really lovely experience for our guests to just wander around and witness the beautiful butterflies we have all over our, our, our gardens. We do have yoga complimentary twice a week, as well as Pilates. And this can also be done privately for any guests who'd prefer to have a private session as well. Something that I love is our farm to skin foraging where our guests can join our spa team. We do have a lovely open air spa set up on the cliff. I didn't mention that earlier. We have a beautiful, beautiful spa with a number of treatment rooms, um, an outside bush bath, we like to call it, where you can have this treatment in this beautiful bath outside. All of our ingredients that we use in the spa are naturally um, naturally grown on property. So our guests can decide what smells and aromas they want to have whilst having their treatments. But our farm to skin foraging is a complimentary experience that our guests can come and join in on Sunday, Sundays at the spa um, where they can make their own body scrub using medicinal plants that they forage from our gardens. And then of course they can take that body scrub home with them. We do have a croquet lawn. So we have croquet and rosé with our team once a week. Um, really fun. Also a really nice way for our guests to get to know other guests. Um, as I said, many of them have been coming for years. So they have developed friendships over the times. And they tend to love having some nice, fun competition on the croquet lawn. Of course, James Bond is synonymous with Jamaica. So on Thursdays, we set up a big screen on our beach and have a James Bond movie night where we serve martinis and popcorn. It's really, really fun um, and a lovely experience for our guests after they've had dinner at the terrace. We do do weddings, of course. Um, we tend to do smaller elopements and celebrations, but we do have the facility to do an all takeover wedding as well. Being a smaller property, you can have Jamaica into yourself and your wedding party, which is extremely special. Um, we also, of course, do honeymoons, as I mentioned before. 
we do have sustainability is at the core of us. I think it's so interesting that a hotel, as old as ours, as I mentioned, 65 years, um, has such strong sustainability goals. We are planning to be, well, we are in the hopes of being carbon neutral by 2026. Um, we have, a we are a turtle sanctuary. So we have over 3000 turtles that hatch on our beach every year between the months of July and November. So a really, really special time for any of your clients to be with us. We are Green Globe certified. Um, we use all of the gray water from our laundries to, wa to water the plants around the garden. All of the products that we use in our room um, are non-chemical. Um, and so we're really doing our part as well. You know, being an older resort, we don't have that infrastructure in place naturally, but we're going above and beyond to make sure that our impact is as low as possible on our beautiful environment. Our team is absolutely the core of who we are. Most of them have been with us for an average of 25 years, with our longest standing team member having been with us for 55 years. So, you know, it really feels like home away from home when you're coming to us. Our guests are so, our guests love the familiar faces that they see when, when they come back to us year after year. And of course, our most special team member is our little puppy, Shadow. She's our hotel dog um, and she loves the water. She loves paddle boarding and our guests love to play around with her as well. And that's us, thank you so much. Well, my computer's really not playing today. Wow, loving um, Shadow and uh, the turtles as well. So it's um, certainly something that's a, a wish list for a lot of people to see them hatching and to be able to be in the same area as them. So super amazing. Um, we have got quite a few questions that have come through um, at the moment. So Gabriella, I've got a question for you first. Does the resort have an adult any adult only areas? We do. So uh, in the resort, we have uh, two swimming pools that are adults only. We do have as well part of Al Nassim, the pool terrace rooms, which are again adults only. And um, for some of the restaurants, dinner time, uh, children are not allowed. That makes it an, an adult only. So overall, the resort, because I know I mentioned we are a beach, leisure and family oriented uh, property. But in the same time, it's, it's a perfect um, uh, choice also for uh, for adults only it might be just couple or honeymooners um so they will uh, still have facilities that will cater that adult only um requirements if they have so super thank you lynette's also asked um is it all inclusive or do you have any all inclusive meal plans um, for uh, our property, no. So uh, we are currently selling the accommodation on room only, breakfast or half board. Super. Thank you very much. Um, Gail's asked, Gabriella, are your resorts OK for clients to wear swimming costumes or are they required in resort to have long sleeves? They, they can wear, they can wear their uh, swimsuit with uh, with no issues. Um, and actually right now, no, I will take the, the advantage because we are right in, uh, in during the time of, of Ramadan. Um, and I know that, you know, Middle East in particular years ago used to be very restrictive, for example, during the Ramadan where we are not allowed, you know, to drink water during the day or to eat during the day uh, in public areas or to wear more conservative uh, clothes. Um, so for the last three years, um, the city itself and also in the sort you don't feel anymore uh, any restrictions so uh, um, even now um, so uh, during this month uh, the resort operates as, as usual um, the clients can wear their swim uh, shorts or um, across you know uh, pool beach but also in the lobby and uh, in any other public areas in, in the resort um, so the city and the, the resort is very very open currently super Thank you very much. So Linda's asked, yes, please, Gabriella, I would love to have the presentation. Um, she's in the process of organizing a Dubai trip and your accommodation is gorgeous. Um, Amazing. Ah, gorgeous. Um, <laughs> so uh, we will have the contact details of all of you and I'm going to share the presentation in details and you'll have my contact details as well. So if any but, of you are planning any trip to, uh, to Dubai, do let us know and I'll be more than happy to welcome you, show you around as well the property. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, Vash has asked a question. Vash, is this question for Anna? Um, I think I saw you put hi, Anna, at the beginning, um, but this question. So if it is Anna, um, do you offer agent rates as I'm planning to visit this year? I'm sure it's for you. 
With Bacuti, because we operate at 97% occupancy all year, all year round, it's quite difficult, but we do have them, but you can only book them within 14 days of arrival. Okay, super, thank you. Um, okay, Ollie, we've got a few questions for you. Um, do you have any disabled friendly rooms at all? We do, yes. We have a small selection of disabled friendly rooms, which would be, of course, on our ground floor. Brilliant. Um, Cindy's asked, if we have clients flying into Sangster, um, do you offer private transfers? We do. We offer private transfers from all of the airports that I mentioned on the island. And you can also hire a car to take you to any spots you'd like to visit in Jamaica as well. Perfect. Um, Cindy's also asked for the fact sheets um, on the Jamaica Inn and all of the meal plans offered. Will you Great. do a follow up the same and just give everybody the information they need? Absolutely. Yes, and Super. I've put my um, email address in the chat. So if you'd like anything more specific, please just reach out. Very much happy to accommodate. Thank you very much. Um, Debbie's just said, can you put up the contact info again? Um, you can copy and paste it even into chat, which will probably be easier because um, it will be sent out anyway, Debbie, um, latest by tomorrow. So um, if you just put your email in chat, um, Ollie. Um, do you have any information we can use for social media um, advertising for us to use? Um, Kashalu, um, is this for everybody? I'll presume it is so. Um, so I'll start first of all with Gabriella. Um, do you have anything for social media that the agents can use? Yes, yes. So we uh, we do have a selection of uh, short videos and images as well that I will uh, be able to share with them. Brilliant. Um, Anna? Yeah, exactly the same. I'll send it all over after this. Brilliant. And Ollie, you'll same do the same. Have a wonderful um, bet that you can download all the high res imagery. Super. Thank you very much. Uh, Debbie's also asked for your contact details, Ollie. Um, Patricia's asked, how do we book um, any of these hotels? Um, I'm presuming that you're available through tour operators. Um, for the Americans they or Canadians, they can book direct. Um, so, yeah, I think, Patricia, if you um, got the specific hotel that you want to book, then drop them an email on the follow up and they'll be able to point you in the right direction of how you can book the easiest way. Um, in Jamaica, the Jamaica Inn, how many rooms do you have, um, Ollie? We're 52 rooms in total. That includes our rooms, our suites and our seven cottages. Super, thank you. And Carrie's asked, um, is Jamaica in part of a small luxury hotel collection? We are not. We've been asked many times, but considering we've been around for 65 years and are doing okay, we've just decided to be independent. Okay, super, thank you. Um, fam trips, do any of you guys organize fam trips for agents to go over? Uh, start with uh, Gabriella. Um, we don't do uh, we don't do it by ourselves, but we always welcome any of the agents if they are interested to come uh, to the property. We do have either um, travel industry rates available that can be booked directly on our website. Uh, we have a promo code DTVL for travel industry rates, or of course any of them can reach out directly with me. Um, and if availability allows, based on the seasonality, we might have as well the opportunities to host complimentary rooms, but that will be subject to availability. So if if anybody is interested to come over to Dubai, uh, I'll be more than happy to, to discuss further with them um, opportunities for uh, fun trips. Super, thank you very much. Anna, um, you've already covered off your agent rates. Um, do you yeah. have any fun trips that you organize? So it'll be through the Aruba, Aruba Tourism. So I can send you Joe's uh, details from Aruba Tourism. Super, thank you very much. And Ollie, um, with you being a small property as well, I would imagine that um, it's a struggle to have a lot of people staying over. Do you do any form of agent rates or anything? We do actually. Um, so like I would suggest any specific fam trips, please reach out to the Jamaica Tourist Board, the JTB, either in the UK or in the US. They definitely do a couple of fams every year. So whether or not you'll be staying with us, we always are very much happy to host site tours, lunches, dinners, etc. We do also right. have agent rates. It's called Come and Stay. You can find this on our website. Also happy to send this to you. Um, and it's um, 
rates for, of course, our partners and our agents. So reach out if you're interested um, and we're happy to send that to you. It's of course in our, in our lower seasons. Super, thank you very much. Um, question from Jean. Um, she's been hearing about feral cats um, in Jamaica. Do you have any issues at the Jamaica Inn? No, we don't have any issues at Jamaica Inn regarding that, but valid question. Um, and no, that is not an issue for us. I think Shadow would deal with them for yeah, you very well. We've got our own little, <laughs> got our own house, house pet. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, and Cindy's asked, is it a long walking beach? Um, is there access to snorkeling at the resort? I think this is for you again, Ollie. Yes, it's a beautiful beach. It's 700 feet. So our, a lot of our guests like to wake up early and walk up and down the beach. We do have a small exercise room that has all of the equipment. So for anyone who likes to keep fit, that's very much there. But otherwise, people love wandering up and down the beach in the morning or the evening. Yeah. Great snorkeling, literally straight from the beach on either point. It's very accessible for people who might not be as comfortable, or you can go farther afield and hop in our little boat and head out to the reef. Super, thank you very much. Well, we've got lots of people saying that they're packing now and they're on the way. So <laughs> that's good to hear. Um, so now we get to the point of the day where we test um, if you, everybody's been listening. Um, so we've got some questions to ask you. Um, and it is the fastest finger first with the correct answer that will win the 10 points. So as a reminder, you're on the webinar today, you get one prize draw point. If you answer the fastest finger first, you get 10 points. Tomorrow morning, what I do is I stick everybody in a spin to win. So the magic wheel will then advise me who the winners are. So there's a big advantage if you are the fastest finger because you get your 10 points. So I'm going to hand over first to Anna. Anna, if everybody can go to chat, make sure you drop down and say, everyone, Mercy's ready to go. Um, if you can let us know yeah. what your question is. This was, a, this was a while ago. Okay, so what is the name of our restaurant at Vicky and Tara? Oh, that's a good one. They're stumped. Oh, here we go. I think uh, it wasn't that. There we go. <laughs> <question. laughs> I hadn't scrolled down. <laughs> so, Joanna said it's called Elements. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so Joanna, just writing your name down. Super. Okay, uh, Gabriella. So question for today is, how many Malakia villas do we have within Jumeirah Dar al -Masia? All right, all right, all right. I like it. I like it. We have the answer. I think a few people are getting a little bit overexcited to start with. Uh, so Jutta said seven. Yes. Perfect. You are the first person. So let me just pop your name down. And last but not least, we've got Olivia. The question is, how many years has Jamaica Inn been in the Morrow family? <laughs> you didn't even have to say anything. <laughs> so we've got, um, I, well recall done, everyone. I recall saying over 60. Um, did you say a specific number? It is 65, correct. Five. So Alison was the fastest finger. Well done, Alison. You see... Super amazing. So a big massive thank you to Gabriella, Anna and Olivia for the fantastic presentations. They will do a full follow up for you and I will send a copy of the recording. If you have any questions that you need from them, just let them know. Um, bear in mind, sometimes if they're out on the road, there might be a slight delay, but they're pretty fast and we'll get back to you as soon as they possibly can. Um, a big thank you to all of the agents. We've had a lot of you on attending today. So it's great to see the interest for the properties. Um, but I mean, it's hard not to like these amazing, incredible properties. What we'd love now is for you to send lots of bookings their way. Um, and you can log them all on the Caribbean program or you can log the Madinat Jamira on the, on the Arabian Rewards program. So a big thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thank you very much, ladies. Your presentations were super amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Bye, everybody. Bye.